Podcorn connects advertisers with podcasters and manages sponsored messages in podcasts. Podcorn, the service that connects brands with podcasters to acquire in broadcast sponsored time, not pre or post roll advertising, is officially launching its services today. The benefit of Podcorn is that we aim to service podcasters of all sizes, many of which don't currently qualify for traditional advertising but can still bring a lot of value to brands if matched accordingly. We are giving brands the opportunity to be part of the conversation, where listeners can hear from the brands, so not just pre, mid, and post roll host read ads but brand interviews, panel discussions with experts and professionals who are within the brand's industry, etc. It's not about the podcaster just pushing products. It's more inquisitive. More journalistic. For brands, the benefit is that we are scaling the discovery of relevant podcasters of all sizes and making it possible to work with hundreds of really targeted podcasters within their niche at scale, writes Podcorn co-founder Agnes Kozira. Historically, if you look at programmatic pre-roll ads in video, programmatic wasn't enough to sustain the creator ecosystem in terms of revenue and a lot of audiences skip those ads. And importantly, Only a small portion of top creators end up making a sustainable income from programmatic because it is strictly based on impressions so smaller creators with niche but very engaged audiences don't generate a sufficient amount of revenue. The company, which raised $2.2 million in a round of financing led by Global Founders Capital, with participation from Bessemer Venture Partners, 500 startups, Alumni Ventures Group, Correlation Ventures and the investment firm Next10 Ventures, was founded by Kozira and her high school friend, David Kierzkowski. The two previously launched the influencer marketing company Famebit, which was acquired by Google three years after its launch, and after raising $1.5 million from 500 startups in the Los Angeles-based incubator and early-stage investment firm, Science. Podcasts, need alternative monetization such as native sponsorships, why influencer marketing blew up, because creators started making a lot more money from it than traditional ad formats because it takes into consideration other criteria that make their podcast valuable, Kozira writes. It also gives brands an opportunity to see the value of creators irrespective of size. Like the influencer marketing business which gave Kozira and Kiyosofsky their first exit, Podcorn connects brands with a range of different podcasting formats and manages the types of contracts these new media broadcasters can offer to increasingly targeted audiences that follow them. It's a strategy that's been a boon for influencer marketing and now that increasing numbers of Adolf are more on this story, visit the news article link.